So then, we are back with the more understandings from the Renewed Covenant, from the Aramaic English translation of the Word. This translation is from the original manuscripts from the times of Israel, from the times of old, of the old prophets of Israel. And information regarding the prophecies are from Yahweh, the true Elohim, the true Creator. Regarding then the um, prophecies of the end, there are areas of the Renewed Covenant where you can find information in terms of the end of times. In Revelation you find then in the 8th chapter the leader of the trade of the world's market, China. And there are some situations going on in their country with people being a bit overworked and concerned with the market, concerned with their jobs. And those are absolutely normal because there is a shift going on in the world and they are going to be entering in the market of the global system and they want to start leading so there is a change even in their own culture they find on their records from many thousands of years ago that they would be leading the world so then this situation going on in the country at the moment those are the uh, birth pains a person might say because of the great coming of the global integration system and they already have this system on their records because they're going to include then the stock market and then trade of their products online so then people can do their own trade and invest in their own products. So there is a huge change of leadership in the world and they are experiencing this spiritual change and shifts. That's why they are having so many situations going on at the same time because in the spirit realm there is a preparation for this time of the end and these were predicted many years ago during the time of Yahanan when he was then on the mainland in the holy city and he received these visions from heaven indicating then the end of times so then you can imagine what it's going to be like in the future when then nations of the world would start then doing trade via computer and then the products that they deal with on a daily basis and the shipments around the world and then people able then to invest in certain types of products huge thousands of items online so people can do transactions directly into this new market system and it's a tremendous situation going on in the spirit so it's very normal what they are experiencing. However, you must understand they have to take the lead. They have to start to take the lead. Because every country in the planet, they always maintain themselves. So then we must understand that the other countries, they are going to start retrieving for rebuilding, while China must step forward. They are the leading country of the end of the age's market. You can read this in Revelation, the 8th chapter. And for the benefit of the other nations, they must step forward. And then the Middle East, their resolve in doing trade with the Middle East is the utmost importance because they're going to ensure the safety and the peace in the region via trade. So the reason why they have such a vast military is not much for combat, but for escorting. As they establish the basics of trade with those nations until they have the computerized system in place so other nations can do trade directly via the system. So then the whole situation is in place, but then they must step out. You must start thinking of then the Middle East and then the patrols and the entire Middle East, the oceans, so they can take on the responsibility. Because their trade is extremely important for the area and as long as they acquire then the peace on the waters and in the countries, then they can invest more and trade more. Consequently, then the system of the computerized the trade of theirs then can be available for the rest of the world.
at the moment is extremely important for our president to remain in his position. Whatsoever it takes to make sure our president remains as it is, nice and quiet, so then we can continue on with our goals as a nation, and then we must relieve ourselves from the responsibilities of abroad so we can rebuild. And that's why China then must relieve themselves because at this moment they are as a volcano with a rock on top of it. They want to continue their expansion but for some reason they are holding back. And they should not hold back, they should step forward. Because we have the certainty of the scripture from the time of the prophets of Israel and from the time of the Shilishim. Many years ago it was prophesied. Other nations, they're going to have their own growth, but China is going to have the privilege of have a worldwide new trade system via internet. There is a combination of trade, stock market, and then banking at the same time. A list of the entire products that they produce, and then people can invest in these specific products, and then they get a share out of them. This is already in place. So from the viewpoint of the Mishian understanding then the revelation, then ten chapters later, we understand the whole world doing trade with China. Nations and people and then kingdoms doing trade with China. Because we find the reference point is the third part of the ships. And only China with the great economy could fit and does fit and only fits. So they are going to lead then the world's market. And then the rest of the nations they are going to benefit from their leadership. And information is found in Revelation the 8th chapter and then 10 chapters later you find in the nations and the same level of understanding, the same layer, then they find the evidence of it. While the other nations they retrieve for rebuilding. And not only then obviously Middle East but then they have to do deals with Europe because the Eurozone is breaking. There are countries of the Eurozone so much in debt, they can't be bailed out. But then the countries involved with the Eurozone, they are bound to help them and they don't want to help them. Because Daniel said at the end that the nation would try then to come together and then they would not adhere to each other. So the Eurozone is going to be broken. So the countries in trouble in the Europe area is going to do trade also with China. So at the moment they step out and do trade with the Middle East and then later with the Europe, then the whole system is going to be around the world. But many people are asking what's going on then in the uh, Middle East and in the wars and what's going on uh, in Europe and the crisis. China has the answer for them. The mere fact of their involvement already brings the peace. Because the escorts of those cargoes can be done with their military, at least for a short time until they establish peace in the region for trade. So the understanding of China's control of the economy, it's not by control the country or the countries, 
But then this system, the computerized system, they have a computer system that do trade and then also banking and then transactions of the products that they produce amongst the nations. As long as they have the understanding of the system and when they do put out, then the nations are going to do trade with the system online via computer. So they don't have to be in control of other nations as long as this trade system, computerized system, then is in place. So they must step out. Be courageous and step out. It should be more influential in the Middle East, sending patrols of their own navy over there and verifying what's going on. Get on the telephone with the uh, Turkey government, speaking of the situation with the uh, Turkey government, and then verify what's going on in Syria, who's going to take over in Syria, so they can get their products moving. Then when the Euro crisis is done away with and destroyed or dismantled, then the nation's in trouble. They're going to trade with China. By that time, the only stabilization of those countries in trouble is going to be via this computerized trade system. So China should never try to hold the rock on the top of the volcano, but then rather should move the rock away and then already start thinking in those countries. Because as long as there is a continuous flow of information via their computerized system, they, they can help those nations rebuild. Does then the global understanding of then China doing trade with the entire globe would be then available? And then the products that they have available for trade Obviously, it is itemized in the computer, and each person from any computer with capability can read the areas they are producing, and they can invest in the particular product, and they get a share out of them. Please stay tuned. Much more coming up.